expect more team coverage now at 5. Local 24 News has learned the bus involved in this morning's crash is owned by Scott Shuttle Services, operated out of Somerville, Tennessee. Parents who went on the Arkansas trip say the company has had trouble in recent weeks keeping the buses running. Local I-Team senior investigator Jenny DePrizio did some digging into the Fayette County company and its previous problems. Yeah, you know, I talked to parents on that trip who told me on the way down to Texas, one of the buses broke down. The group was stuck on the side of the road for 12 hours. The weekend before that, there was another breakdown on a trip to Florida. So we went to the bus company's office in Somerville, hoping to get answers. Scott Shuttle Services operates out of this house in rural Fayette County. The company owns five vehicles and employs seven people. We were there Monday afternoon when what's believed to be a federal investigator arrived and went inside. According to federal records, Scott Shuttle has a history of problems. In the past three years, they've been fined twice by the federal government. In July of this year, almost $3,500 for allowing someone to drive without having the type of driver's license needed to operate the vehicle. In 2015, the company was also fined in connection to problems with inspections. Records show the charter company was involved in a crash in November 2017. Scott Shuttle Service's most recent inspection was in May. According to federal records, among the violations noted, an oil and grease leak and a damaged windshield. We also found in the mid-2000s the company had its federal motor carrier permit revoked. It was reinstated in 2007. Now, the owners of the company were not at home. Somebody who was there said he was the grandson and answered the door, but he wouldn't comment. For the Local I team, I'm Jenny DePrizio. All right, some good work, Jenny. Obviously, some more questions to be asked as well. Local 24 News will stay on top of this unfolding story. Also, be sure to download the Local Memphis mobile app for up-to-the-minute updates. And stay with us on air and online for new information as soon as we get it.